Bond will come to an end. Initially scorned, the now 53-year-old had to prevail against all kinds of opposition for his first film, Casino Royale, and he did so with complete success. He is frequently mentioned as one of the best actors ever in a row with 007 veterans like Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan. All the more reason to wonder what will happen to James Bond after the upcoming No Time to Die, given that Daniel Craig will literally no longer play any part. Rumors about who might succeed him as James Bond have been circulating for months. Names like Henry Cavill or Tom Hardy are brought up, though without any concrete clues. Lead actor Daniel Craig also expressed his opinion on the matter as he revealed in an interview with Radio Times. In his view, the character should not be portrayed by a woman in any case since a new role could be just as easily be invented. Producer Barbara Broccoli has a similar opinion, having said a few years ago that Bond is definitely a male figure. She believes that male characters should not be turned into women. So instead, with Lashana Lynch in the upcoming film, there will be a female 007 who is a character of her own unrelated to James Bond. But for now, the fifth and last film with Daniel Craig, No Time to Die, will have its American theatrical release on October 8th, 2021. Although the release of The Flash is still more than a year away, we are already being regularly supplied with news on the DC adventure. This was the case last Monday as well when 48-year-old director Andy Muschietti posted a picture of a red Batman suit without further comment. In the middle can be seen a yellow lightning bolt on the familiar bat symbol. The combination of the two elements naturally raises some questions. Some believe it heralds red death. Others think that the image refers to a plot from the comics where Barry loses his actual suit and is temporarily given one by Batman. There have been at least a few hints about the latter theory from Muschietti in the past. The only clear thing is that Barry travels to the past according to the comic narrative Flashpoint and consequently changes the present significantly. Among other things, it might be possible that we will see Ben Affleck's and Michael Keaton's version of Batman. In the leading role, we will definitely see Ezra Miller as the eponymous superhero. The Flash will be released in cinemas on November 4th, 2022. Last week, the annual Batman Day took place on the 3rd of September as usual. Fittingly, director Matt Reeves and composer Michael Giacchino spoke out via interesting posts. Oscar winner Giacchino tweeted a video of his orchestra performing the dramatic and atmospheric background music of the blockbuster. Moreover, he also hinted at the DC fandom on October 16th, which should be a good sign for musically inclined Batman fans. After all, it is to be expected that you will then get to hear more than a mere 30 seconds. Director Matt Reeves did not miss the opportunity to contribute something to Batman Day either, taking the fans to his editing room. There, you can see a scene from the movie on the screen which we unfortunately can't quite make sense of yet. Reeves also refers to being able to show more of the production in a few weeks, which makes fans around the globe very perceptive. Meant is of course the trailer, which will premiere at Fandome and offer longer insights into the DC adventure for the first time, hopefully including the Penguin, the Riddler and all the other villains. Anyway, we are very excited and are first looking forward to the DC fandom on October 16th, but of course especially to the theatrical release of The Batman on March 4th, 2022. In time for the second anniversary of Disney's in-house streaming service, the parent company is holding a global Disney Plus Day. Subscribers can hope for all kinds of new content, whether it be from Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, National Geographic, or even The Simpsons. This should then be especially interesting for those who are not currently subscribed to the streaming service. However, anybody who calls a Disney Plus subscription their own can look forward to all kinds of exclusive offers and promotions, since on the occasion of the giant corporation's second birthday, the blue carpet will be rolled out for all subscribers, as it says in an official press release. Bob Chapek, the CEO of Disney, even speaks of an annual tentpole event that affects all areas of the company, be the Disney theme parks or the movie and series offerings. Fans of the MCU should get their money's worth with the streaming premiere of Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. You can also look forward to Jungle Cruise, the Christmas reinterpretation, Home Sweet Home Alone, the Frozen spin-off Olaf Presents, and many other premieres. The event is scheduled to take place around the globe on November 12th, 2021, and will surely include some more surprises. We are definitely excited about all the new content.
The production of Fantastic Beasts 3 was anything but a piece of cake. First, there was the big outcry about Johnny Depp and his role as Grindelwald, and then there was the pandemic. Finally, for the first time in a while, there's some news about the third installment of the popular movie series revolving around Newt Scamander, and many fans will be delighted for two reasons. First, the official title of the previously nameless blockbuster has now been revealed. Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore is now the name of the upcoming spin-off. After the events of the part 2, this is honestly not a big surprise. So if you haven't seen the second part yet, you should urgently do so. The second piece of news concerns the release date of the fantasy adventure. You won't have to wait until July 2022 after all, because luckily the film has been moved up by just about three months. Soon enough, you will be able to see Eddie Redmayne as Newt Scamander, Ezra Miller as Credence Barebone, Jude Law as Albus Dumbledore, and Max Mickelson as the new Gellert Grindelwald. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore will be released on April 15, 2022 in the United States. The three-part franchise of the popular Pitch Perfect movies has already got many ladies' nights going. After it has been known for over a year that a fourth part of the series is to be released, news reached us earlier this week that a series is also being planned. According to the report from Variety, 37-year-old Adam Devine is set to star in his role as Bumper Allen. Devine, who made his last appearance in 2015's Pitch Perfect 2, will hopefully not be the only returnee from the film series. Fans are, of course, also in hopes that Anna can Andrew as Becca, Rebel Wilson as Fat Amy, Brittany Snow as Chloe, and Anna Camp as Aubrey will also make a comeback. However, there is still no reliable source of information on this. On the other hand, it is known who will be in charge of the project, namely producer and Pitch Perfect veteran Elizabeth Banks. The plot is to take place after the events of the movies and will thematize the music career of Bumper, who moves to Germany in the hopes of becoming a music star there. The story was conceived by screenwriter Megan Amran, an official title of the series has not yet been announced. When exactly the series will be released is unfortunately also still uncertain, but we will of course keep you up to date as always. Well, that's it with our latest news. In case you're into spooky things and looking for anything else to watch, we can definitely recommend the new trailer for Halloween Kills, which you can find on our channel. We've recently also uploaded the video showcasing upcoming blockbuster movies in the first half of 2022, so be sure to check that one out. See you next time.